You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am going to check out the incredible edibles terror tank from the year 2000. Age of six and up. Now, if you were six when you got this, you would be 26 now. So let us know if you're one of those kids that got this at that age. The terror tank. Let's see. Make and eat your own gross gummies, all right? Now, what I do like most about the box is this metallic label. Imagine walking through the store, you're walking by, and you see that. Does that not catch your eye? It sure does. And he is kind of in response to Dr. Dreadful after time. This was Professor Max Slimelick. All right, here we go. Includes enough secret compound for a whole gaggle of gummies. Great tasting, gross gummies. This was from Toy Max, and the set is 98816. Let's check out the rest of the box. Now, sadly, the metallic label is only on the one side. But it's still fun to look at the box. There is the nutritional information for you, for those that like that information. He's down here saying, makes great tasting gross gummies. Let's check out the back. Now, there isn't much on the bottom either. It's just a repeat. Here we go. Join me, Professor Max Slimelick, on an adventure of candy chemistry and taste sensation. I've traveled the world in pursuit of ancient secrets and the most modern techniques of candy creation, and now I can teach you all there is to know about how to make gross gummies. With my terror tank, we can create a gaggle of gummies that taste frightfully good. All right, and there's a little breakdown of everything in there, and then there's two other sets. Check out Professor Slimelick's other great sets. Now, I've done a few sets, and I have the sets that they show there. I'm pretty sure I have those sets. So those may show up in a future video, hopefully soon, because I'm trying to get to all of my candy kits. All right, I'm going to change the camera angle, come back, and we'll get everything out of the box. All right, so all parts have been checked. Now, I'm looking here. It shows one, two, three different shapes, but two different molds. Hmm, and the molds on the box are different than what's inside, because I had to check to make sure everything was here, right? Okay, so this one says, revise. This replaces the instruction sheet in the box. Incredible Edibles Terror Tank Instructions. Two molds, and then this is actually a different picture of what's on the mold in the front, so they have changed them since they originally uh, printed it, I guess, or made it back then. And there's all the instructions. Let's not worry about that anymore. Here is the lemon lime gummy mix. Here is the terror tank. Uh, tape on the back. Oh, I noticed something else in the box as well. Okay, so these are the tabs come out. Okay, so hear what I'm saying now. Look at the picture here. How do we come out? Just like that. Pull it out. Those are the two molds. See that there? That was probably the original one. This, this one probably uh, cost a lot more to make with all that plastic and then they streamlined it to that. Okay, there's the top piece. There's the base, neat little design on it to gauge here. There's a little bit of red, not as detailed as some other sets we've seen in the past. Here's some tools. Okay, so you get a spoon, a dissection type tool, two dissection type tools, look at that. And one looks like a little scalpel. It's got little red accents on it. And then one, two, three, four, and this is like a Probably to scoop your gummy out kind of tool. That's everything there. And what did I miss here? Ooh, this big sheet. Oh, important notice to parents. And then 90 day limited warranty. Okay, so that's everything there. Let's see how these come apart. Okay, so you gotta pull them apart, right? I got a little tool here. Okay, there we go. Just a little twist. Let's see here. So step one, practice the following sequence first. Select which mold you would like to use 
front and back. While holding the cover of the terror tank upright, put both mold halves into the cover as shown. Make sure the groove in the bottom of each mold goes over the lip on the open edge of the cover. This is the cover. I see. I see. Ooh, look at the shape in there. So this is the bug. Looks like a bug, right? Let's see what this one looks like. They don't pull apart easy. But I already see something might be an issue. Okay, that is the, what looks to be some kind of organ. Well, this goes here like this. Then this is going to go here like this. So it looks like from this, we're mixing it in here this way. And they want you to practice that so that you know what you're doing. I'm practicing. Okay, I already see. Oh, I'm practicing and I'm failing. Let's do that. It's got to be snug as a bug. There we go. Clip that, clip that, clip that. That's on. But I'm noticing that it's a little loose right here on the sides. I might have to put something on there to hold that tighter. This could be age of the plastic. Then this goes into here, and it looks like you shake it. Right there, I see a picture. Picture three. Picture three. While holding the cover and mold of something, you're going to slide the mold okay. While holding the top of the thing, blah, 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 blah. Shake it up and down vigorously for 20 seconds. Okay, and then what's next? Two, 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 two. Tank on suitable counter to oh tap, tear uh, gently tap the bottom of the terror tank on a suitable counter. So they kind of want you to do this to get the air bubbles out, right? Okay, so we've seen it all. Let me wash what I need to wash. Let me come back with some warm water. I'm assuming usually it is. Oh, there's the temperature thing. Fill a mug of drinking cup with some warm water. The water does not have to be hot, just nice and warm. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Everything is clean. This is how I do it. I take one of my trays. I put all the items on it. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Oh, wash, rinse, repeat, wash. Yeah, I guess. This, this piece never actually touches the gummy, but I still gave it a quick rinse. It's going to get wet anyway. Not too worried about these, not the exteriors anyway, but we will... They don't tell you to put anything on the molds in any way. It doesn't say spray the molds. Okay, but it does say it takes a half an hour to dry or to cure up. So it's an hour to make two. Because you have to leave it in this to actually freeze it. Very interesting process. They won't let you make two and then freeze two. So there you go. All right. Cold water, it says. Take this, this. We'll do the body part first. We'll do this second. Now I will probably just leave it the way it is and see if it clips together and holds. I guess that's a test. We will see. And then if the first one doesn't work, I will do, I will make a change. Okay, so let's cut this here. It says, let's see, lime flavor or lemon gummy mix lime. Lemon lime. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, using the end of the spoon mark 5G. So there's 5G and 5ML. Spoon should be dry, yes. Scoop, five scoops of warm water. Okay, wait. Using the end of the spoon mark five, you take four scoops slightly above level. That's nice that they said that. So it's not a heaping one. Slightly above level. Two, that's four scoops. It's the five scoops of water. Three, four, okay. Then, uh, must be clean and dry. Did it using the end of the scoop mark five mLs. Okay. Take five scoops of warm water. One, two, three, four, five, and mix. So they are completely mixed, no lumps. 
can't have lumps. While holding the cover of the terror tank, okay, we don't want to go too long because then it starts to set. Holding the cover of the terror tank, remember this part? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is what we practiced. Practice makes perfect. I still feel it may not be right. Okay, do that. While holding the cover, let me tell you, slide the mold into the base of the terror tank. Okay, so this might help compact it all real tight. All right, and then shake for 20 seconds. Okay, you count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's a little bit of powder on the top. I see it now. Tiny bit of powder. I gotta watch that next time. Okay. Then gently tap for ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After shaking and tapping, place the tank into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Okay, I will be back. Alright, the first terror tank gummy is ready. Now it has Hardened up, I could just tell, and there's an extra layer in there, so I'm wondering, did it fill it all the way down? I have no idea. Uh, let's just see. Let's get it out of here. Okay, no leaking. That's very important. We didn't want that. And now let's just take it apart here. Let's use one of their tools to open this up and see. Okay, that, ooh, that, that tool works. All right, so here we go. Let's peel the gummy apart. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, it is alive. The organ, that is. It's not a, not really alive. You know what I'm saying. Here, let's just take our little tool now and drop it down on the plate. Okay, that is it. Now, did you notice there's a lot of extra in there? So this will be my tasting gummy. It's uh, a very drab-looking green. All right. Well, let's clean up. I will come back, and then I will make this one, and... Uh, We'll continue on with the process. Okay, I was setting things up, looking at the box again, and I see kind of red in the chamber and a red gummy way down there. So, you know, it's just green. So if you have other gummy mix, I'm sure you could use it. All right, so let's make the second one now. So remember, it was five gram side, four scoops, just to the top. Not heaping scoops, there's one. Two. The first one worked pretty good, so we can we're safe to say that we shouldn't have any issues with this one. Three. I gotta remember to stop talking so I don't forget. Four. Oops. Okay. And then it was five scoops of the milliliter side of warm water. Here we go. Let me give you a better tap down look as I'm filling this up here. Here we go. Five scoops. One. Oh, it does look red. Two. Three. I stand corrected. Four. Five. And it must just turn that greenish color. So it is red and green. And it looks like it turns into that really neat olive kind of color. Now this time I'm trying to scoop and make sure there's none on the bottom. It's flicking everywhere, but that's okay. That's okay. Here, let me take this tool now. Well, I like that tool better anyway. Right, I'm just going to look from this side here. Okay, that looks good. All right, so give it a couple more little turns. Remember, warm water. Now, the next step, the practice step. We have practice. So the first one worked out great. And I think when you put it in the little chamber, the second step, the tank, the terror tank, it's actually helping squish this all together. So this goes in the hair. That's pretty tight. Now 20 seconds. Here we go. Now 
Okay. Good. Just a tiny little bit there, but otherwise pretty good. And then just tap. I see air releasing. There's air bubbles in there. Let's just see. I can quickly turn off the lights here. I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. Pretty cool. And neat effect on the tabletop. My flashlight doesn't like the... But there's lots of air bubbles. Can you see the air bubbles in there? So it's doing its thing. It sure looks like there's a lot on top. A lot more than before. Alright, I think we're good. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, I'll put this in the refrigerator and see how it worked. Okay, here we go. I am set for the second one. Let's pull it out of the chamber here. And what do you think we have? Let's see. I think I'm going to use this tool this time. All right. Let us see what's inside. Ooh, look at that. A perfect creature. Let's poke him out. It almost seems like it's a little different color this time, doesn't it? Look at that. Now, how did I get two different colors from the same pack? Hmm, I wonder if it just was the way the powder was mixed up. All right, so I'm going to take these out of the way. I'm going to show you the two molds that I used. I know it's a strange word, mold, when you're dealing with food products, but that's all right. They're molds. Okay. Now I'm going to take the ends off of these, so let me do a little dissecting and kind of clean them up a little bit, huh? What do you think? Should I? Should I not? Yeah, let me see through the light. Here, let's see. So now you can see the texture that's on that. See the texture on him? He's got all kinds of little ridges and so it's good texture, good additional, whatever you would call it. Okay. So here we go, cut. Like that. Cut this piece off. There we go. So I can try those two. All right, here's the first piece. I am trying it. It tastes just fine. No pungenty taste at all with this mix. Not as old as a lot of the other mixes that I have tried. So I'm going to say overall, it works pretty good. 30 minutes between, it probably doesn't take that long. I just I honored the instructions, you know what I mean? I always try to stick to them as best as I can. All right, so I'm going to wash it all, restore it back to its original box. The Incredible Edibles Terror Tank. Do you think it's a terror? Well, let's make it a terror. Here, let me, let me come in here and chop some more stuff up while I'm here. All right, let's get here. Let me get, the, let me get my little... Uh, whatchamacallit. I'll be right back. Okay, here's my little uh, light box. That's the whatchamacallit. So they are, you know, little spongy things. This is a, obviously some type of human organ. And then this is a bug, so let's just cut through the bug. Here we go. Now, we've done some of these where they have squishy stuff inside, but these don't. Shh. We're dissecting. Let's cut into the abdomen. Perfect cut. Look, you see little green specks in my specimen. Hmm, must isolate those. There we go. Now let's just see if this, ooh, this looks like a little brain now, doesn't it? Let's just see if this organ has any other little tidbits that we can check out up close. Let's do a side dissection. There we go. This is Definitely greener than the other one. I wonder if the packet just needed to be mixed up. Okay, there we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. My mouth is watering for a taste of the bug. Mmm. Tasty and squishy. There you go. I have now dissected my creations. I will end it there. Saying thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making this set for you. Now I got two other sets in this line, four other sets in the Dr. Dreadful line. 
Another oven coming up and plenty of fun maker sets. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you ever watch more videos, that would really help Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.